Hi folks, Caitlin Urquhart here, just uh, giving you a brief update from the Muskrat Falls Inquiry. Um, today we heard from Todd Stanley, who's a senior government official or former senior government official. He worked for 16 years with the Department of Justice and uh, did provide legal opinions uh, around the Muskrat Falls project. And uh, one of the big things that stood out to me was that uh, he's talking about the lack of capacity within government to really do um, the due diligence and to, to get things done in the time frames that were required. Um, so NALCOR has a much more, uh, a much bigger, more significant staff. And uh, at the same time, government of Newfoundland and Labrador was facing cuts. So um, this really, he really brought home the sense that uh, the project was a runaway train and, uh, and that a lot of the decisions were coming straight from the Premier's office. Uh, the government of Newfoundland and Labrador was a proponent. They wanted the project to go ahead. And so that was really the tone and tenor of the conversations that were happening around that time. Um, I'm just going to draw your attention to this uh, issue of lack of capacity because obviously this is an issue that Grand River Keeper and Labrador land protectors have been bringing up. They fear that there's not the capacity to do the monitoring and follow-up that is necessary to ensure that NALCOR is meeting its obligations under the environmental, the release from environmental assessment process. And, uh, and, and there's just no sort of central authority that's doing that follow-up. Follow up. So this is a grave concern for us, and uh, we'll continue to uh, to to follow this and and to to probe other witnesses about this same issue. Um, tomorrow we're going to hear from Dr. Guy Holborn who's a prof at the University of Western and an expert in energy policy. After that, there's two days of uh, PUB, so Public Utility Board, and we're gonna end up with, uh, end the week with a uh, expert from PricewaterhouseCooper. So that's it for today. Thanks for following along. And uh, as always, uh, send me messages, emails. I'm happy to hear from you any old time. Have a great, have a good one.